Hello, and welcome to Yakuza Kiwami video game review. You've got myself, Apps, here, and I'm joined by the man who's going to be conducting the review. It's the one, it's the only, it's Tom Adkins, not Ed Cock. How you doing? Very well. For this interview, though, I'd like you to refer me as Tommy Chan. Tommy Chan. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll try to remember that. I, I probably won't, and I'll butcher it. But um, those who have seen the Yakuza Zero review might be expecting me to be doing this, um, mm-hmm. considering I had such high praise of the the, uh, the prequel that had landed last year. Um, but you know, you've gone out and and purchased Kiwami and played through it. What's what's got you into this series? I assume it was my wonderful review, obviously. That <laughs> no, that no joke see. aside. It was you, to be fair. Right. <laughs> I've, my other mate... It's um... embarrassing. <laughs> my other mate, he Can tried... Can we say to... me? I don't know. <laughs> it was a... No, we put Tim. Tim's not allowed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, so my fr- other friend is quite a big fan of the franchise and um, had him on PS3, and he tried to sort of sh- get me into it, but yeah. because it was such an old... Like an older version, I thought oh, I knew there was quite a few of them. It was just too much for me at the time. I had too much going on. Yeah. And then someone read here in your review, and sort of straight from the get go, you I remember you saying like this yeah. game feels like a, a Tom game. Yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, I wanted to. I, yeah, I think the hype of six has got to me. <laughs> and then I saw this. We've been talking to each other about jumping on points. Yes. So I took the hit. Um, and as it was on sale, I purchased Yakuza Kiwami. So how much did you pay for Kiwami? So I paid for Kiwami £11.99 off UK of the store. Pounds, that is an absolute steal. That is a digital it's... version. You have no prior experience with this franchise. No, this is my first entry. I I remember it coming out on PS2 because I remember the cool tattoo on the front cover and yeah, the back. Yeah. Um, but never got round to playing it. And like I say, I've, I remember one night round my mates, he put one on and we were just sort of taking the piss out of it about it's like not even playing a game, it's just watching a film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that is my, that are my cards on the table. Other than that, I'm blind. Yeah, so people might have heard that and gone, oh, hang on, why are they reviewing a PS2 game? But Yakuza mm. Kiwami is a complete remake of the first one, isn't it? This is a- yeah. Brand new. Almost like the Shadow of Colossus remake we've yeah. just had. Almost from the ground up. PS2 game as well originally, so Sony cool. going back to their bread and butter, getting those remakes. So this is, yeah, like, like we said, you you see, you can see the, the footage of it if you're even watching this, but if you are listening, you can look it up. This is, you know, this has been completely remade from the ground up, and I know they've tweaked it from the original as well to make it fall in line with more modern stuff and added a few bits and pieces as well, but... Um, it's primarily a well, Zero was a single player game it had some, you could do multiplayer co-op options on some of the mini games is that much yeah. the same with Kiwami? yeah exactly the same Yeah, just in the uh, opening menus that's all you've got, you've got a new story mode mm-hmm. and a two player um, mini game that I believe you can't do any of the story co-op or anything, No, not to my knowledge no yeah that, I think that's how it would work with uh, on Zero anyway we yeah. move into the story um, mm. typically looking at the, the, the reception of the game this is you know they're, they, they're spanning over six games now soon to be seven mm. um, with Yakuza 6 coming out this is the starting point for many people that have been fans of the franchise but those that are new hopping in are yeah. they are they treated to something good here or is, is the narr- narrative not quite as good as what people have been making out no, I think this is its bread and butter with this Yakuza uh, saga. It is the storytelling. Yeah. Uh, it is phenomenal. Like it, it's cinematic yeah. <laughs> to a T. Yeah. It, just when I was watching it the whole way through, just the whole story, it just mm. felt like watching a sort of action film. Yeah. Um, it's, you've got your twists and blops and everything. Everything yeah. it just knits together. It is a pure direction. I'm surprised they haven't turned it. I think they there is a Japanese version of it as right. a film, um, but that is what I felt watching the story. It's, it's so engaging. You you actually care about characters, yeah. Um, which is a big thing for me. Yeah. Um, and this like, is all. This is all. This is no English dialogue again. This is all uh, no. subtitled, isn't it? So you have to. You obviously have to read what's going on. But still, even with that caveat. 
it sounds like it's still resonating, which is good. Yeah, yeah, it really does. I mean, I'm quite partial to the uh, the subtitles, but yeah, that can put a lot of people off. Yeah. You know, if there is no um, English dub, then yeah. that's it. People just go, no. I could imagine um, Biff being like, not a chance. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, I, to be honest, I prefer them to have subtitles over bad English dubbing or voice yeah. acting. So it, it, it was fine for me playing through Zero. Um how about the the presentation and performance? What are, what's the game like in engine when you're playing it, and yeah. also what's it like in 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 this in the kind of cutscenes? Because there was a drastic difference in zero between yeah. how good the the um the cutscenes were and the gameplay. You know, when he was playing, it wasn't wasn't bad, but there was obviously a downgrade no. there. Yeah, this it sounds like um, there's n- not very much of a difference between zero and kiwami in terms of its technical side because yeah. yeah that is the thing that i noticed the, and it was one of its biggest downsides i felt right. was the amount of difference between the cutscenes to the in-game engine mm. um you watch them cinematics and you're like cool yeah. that is next you can yeah. see like the blackheads and the pores in their faces, exactly you? yeah you really can as as a character and it's got a mole right in his forehead <laughs> and I was like wow that is the best looking mole I've ever seen on, on the game mole award <laughs> but yeah that really did um, annoy me like the downgrade once you sort of have one of these rich cinematic cutscenes and it chucks you back into the game and you're like right here we go yeah. and you can see straight away um, the difference and just sort of reading up on it, I didn't realise that they. It was also these games was made for the PS3 as well. Yeah. So yes, I yes. think they've had that in mind. So some of the textures are a bit last genny. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. That is that is a bit of an issue with the ones that have been ported over. I mean, Yakuza Six. I think it's the first one. It is this the first one that's built for current PlayStation right. Four? So. Yeah. Hoping that they they kind of rectify any of those issues. Did you have any any like frame rate issues, any crashes, anything like that, or was it you know no, run, run pretty solid? No, I was surprised to see it was a sixty FPS game as well. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it needs to Can be because be yeah, exactly. Yeah, um, yeah. I was like I say, I was surprised. It is quite a fast paced game, isn't it? With the act, mm. with like fighting and combat and stuff. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I didn't have any crashes. The frame rate, I don't remember seeing any hitches. No. Every now and again, when it'd go from a sort of cutscene to a back into in game, you might have got a tiny stutter, but nothing that sort of you know that to know. I'm just nitpicking, really. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you mentioned there, was, there is a downgrade from the cutscenes there. When if if you're taking that out of the equation, just playing the game for what it is, does it still look good, or do some of those textures? you know you can notice them even without that visual kind of jarringness when it comes out of the super cut scenes um i don't i don't know i'm I, i'm overly harsh with that sort of thing being a pc master race snob for three years or <laughs> technically still am but i don't three really year membership card and that's it that's all i had <laughs> became too much of a snob to have been it but i i think i nitpick too much on them sort of things but yeah. to the untrained eye I think this game would pass as a quite a good-looking game. It's just when you really sort of focus on some of the main parts, especially that the world looks cool as a whole, um, you know, with all the neon signs and stuff. But yeah. when you start looking at the shops and that, you're like, ooh. Yeah. So they do well to cover it there. Yeah. Okay. So we mentioned the world there. I mean, how does this? Mm. How does Kiwami work in terms of its like structure? Is it? Is it open world? Do you get a choice to go off and do whatever quest you want? How do, can you can you level up um, your, your character? Is the how, how does it actually work in terms of you know going from point A to point B in progression? Yeah, I haven't played Zero yet, but I li- I'm led to believe that it's pretty much exactly the same. Right. Um, I remember in your review you stated that there was two worlds. However, yes. in this one, it's only the one. It's the um, their take on the. Um, Tokyo Red Light District. I um, can't Ooh. say its name. I'm butchering it. Yeah. Kabuchiko. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> but yeah, so it's it revolved around that. So it's an open world game. Yeah. Um, it has role playing elements, but I wouldn't. Uh, would I call it an, no, I wouldn't call it an RPG. Um, but yeah, it's an open world. But it's a quite a small uh, uh, open world game. It's n- it's not the size of your GTAs and all that. Um, which I think you said in your um, 
blah, 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 in your zero review. Yeah. But every now and again, you will get sent off to different destinations. Yes. Uh, yes. So, yeah, so there'll be like a level somewhere else, which is a nice pace change, change of pace yeah. but um after the first few chapters then the world sort of opens up you're on a sort of linear path at the first couple and then it yeah. opens up and then you can s- stick to your story or you can go off and do the thousands of different mini games and yeah. god knows you can go strippers there's a full dating sim in there <laughs> um there's about 80 side quests you can do which are right. quite funny they're, they're so varied they're very one, weird in zero they were they were very they were, there, funny. Oh, they were good there was one on there that was a bloke who was having a shit and he kept running out of toilet rolls so i had to keep going and get him to it i was like what is this game <laughs> for fuck's sake it's uh, excellent taken from real world experiences that exactly um, any any unnecessary grinding you have to do, or any microtransactions, anything like that lurking, or we we pretty clean. They kept themselves clean in Kiwami. No, it's pretty clean. You've got that. The only thing that is a niggle to me is I sort of spent. I think I spent about just over twenty hours completing the story. I've done yeah. a small portion of the side quests. And then at the end, it chucks this little completion stat at you, and it really niggles you. So after my 20-something 20, 20 hour, 21, 22, yeah. it, it was about 26%. I was like, God, I've not even fucking touched it. Got a quarter of the game. Yeah, exactly. So, but looking at the completion, the com- it's not like um, a standard sort of completion set. It's like like you have the, these things called like collection completion points right, and you have to yes. do these sort of objectives to complete it so it'd be like go and play f- five games of billiards or go and get five strikes of yes. things so it sort of does take you around the world getting everything tonight so but i think it's i've seen people playing over 100 hours getting this 100 percent completion yeah. so with that i can see it's going to be a bit grindy to do that but there's yeah. no microtransactions whatsoever which is good to see um, and you're not sort of having to level up in any sort of way to progress in any story or anything, which was good to see. Yeah, excellent. How does the what are the sort of main gameplay mechanics? So you mentioned some of the side quests, but I, I know primarily the game's focused around hand-to-hand combat. How does yep. that manifest itself when you actually pick up the controller? And is it is it good? Is it in depth? Has it got enough legs to to carry the game? Yeah, it's quite, I'm sort of, I, I like it, and then there was parts of it that really fucking annoyed me, to be honest. Is it when they start shooting guns at you? Yeah, that fucking annoyed right. me. That, yeah, that is a problem. I'm, like that I say, I'm led, to, yeah, I'm led to believe that it's exactly the same combat as um, Zero. So you've yeah. got the four, um, I think, is it four? You've got four sort of um, variants of your combat. So you have like yes. a, a tank mode, a yep. fast, nimble mode, a strong, blah, blah, blah. Yep. So you have that, and you can level them up um, through this sort of leveling system you have, which in, uh, increases every time you have a combat. Like you, you were running through the world, and then a couple yep. of gang members will start on you. Yep. Um, so you level this up, and then you can unlock points to do more difference. But, yeah, the combat, so that's pretty much the element of the game. It's like... Yep. Um, people would call it like a beat em up a sort of yeah. 3D beat em up so you, you're going through the combat is quite cool when you start to learn new moves but yeah like you said as soon as the fucking guns come into play yeah. it's just like real life you, you take some someone trying to do martial arts imagine you like UFC martial <laughs> artist that gets a fucking gun yeah. there's only one winner in that isn't there yeah. and they can do some damage as well if you ain't got any buffs on <laughs> yeah, they knock you down, which I just, really like, does. Yeah, and that pisses you off. And then they all, especially when you get crowded, because sometimes you can have about eight or nine people fighting yeah. against you, and they all tread on you, and it just depletes your your, your uh, life. <laughs> but load the, up them healing items. That's right. I do that. I just before every mission, I just stocked up. My inventory was full of uh, of like up um, health options, yeah. just increase. But for the most part, I was quite impressed with the combat. Um, it felt a little bit dated and clunky in terms of its sort of locking on mechanics. I didn't really right. get on with it. I sort of never really used the lock. I don't think they have an right. official lock on button. You sort of have a button where you can sort of walk slower and block. Yeah. But every time you, I sort of throw a punch and then the person would end up behind me. And I sort of, <laughs> it, it was, this didn't feel as fluid as, say, something like Sleeping Dogs. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah. 
obvious. Uh, it's not the same as uh, Yakuza, but it sounds racist when I'm putting that. That's a <laughs> game about the Chinese. But um, that was probably my closest link to this, a sort of open world fighting game ish, yeah. beat em up y. Um, so I thought the combat in Sleeping Dogs was a the sort of fluidity of it was better than Yakuza, but that's what really got on my nerves with it. The sort of um, the sort of lock on mechanic and the clumsiness of it, and them yeah. fucking guts, like you say, yeah. they were bastards. They were a pain in the ass. Um, so we, we touched a little bit on the voice acting. We start when you said the story was obviously stellar and that you enjoyed it. Um, how about the the, the sound track itself? Is that yeah? Cool? Is that um, when you when when gameplay is kicking in or during the cuts? Yeah, or, you yeah. There support. is so there's no licensed tracks or anything like that. No. But yeah, it does have this sort of techno. I think you mentioned that in your review as well. Yeah. Just echoing. So it's obviously they've, they, that's throughout the series. Yeah. Um, and it's quite upbeat and sort of fast. So when it and that kicks in when you sort of there's a, a few fights kicking off and it sort of does get you quite pumped. Mm-hmm. So, Quite fast moving than that. It keeps the energy going. Um, there is sort of um, sort of funny music when you're doing some of the side quests. Yeah. It's just sort of background music, really. It fits well, mm. um, especially when the scenes start getting sort of quite deep and dark, and that takes like a dark turn. You start thinking, "Ooh, yeah, um, yeah." It's nothing really to write home. You know, I wouldn't say it's a standout feature of it, but what it is, it's it it does the job for me. Excellent. So if we look at the value of, of this game, for the price that you paid, yeah. do you feel like it's got enough content there and that the content there is, is quality over quantity? Yeah, definitely. Um, I really thought going into this game, because I, I remember, did a bit of research before buying it and realised that it, it's comparatively smaller compared to the other entries. Mm. So I was expecting this to be a sort of short and sweet deal, especially when I saw it at that price. I was thinking, right, this this will be done in sort of, 15 hours and I'll have nothing to do but once yeah getting into it and sort of realizing that I ain't even I've not even done a quarter of it yet I was like cool oh, blimey yeah there's so much to do so the quality of it um like I say just just in the story mode itself it, it was I thought it was worth admission um and that's not even t- I've not even touched stuff outside of the game I could spend an easily another sort of 50 hours in this game if I wanted yeah. to um, there's so many side options to do, and that it it, it really is a, a plethora of things to do. Excellent. So the all important question: Yakuza Kiwami, should you buy it or should you bin it? I'm going to say fucking buy it. The seal of approval there for Yakuza Kiwami, and what is its official grading? Um, I'm going to give this one an official grading of gold. Oh! <laughs> I was gonna. I was. It's on the cusp. It's just got a gold, I'd say. Yeah. Um. Snuck in. Yeah, it snuck in just because of how dated it, the, the datedness of it feels. Right. Um, the clunky mechanics. Um, they're pretty much its its downside, but just how sort of neat it is and how yeah. tight the story is it's what pushed it over for me and it's just such an engaging story as well normally you sort of forget about characters and stuff but all week i've been thinking about young uh i forget his name <laughs> kiryu or whatever his name is yeah, yeah, yeah. kazuma uh and all the boys kazuma kiryu that's it sorry yeah. um and yeah the side characters as well um old dojima or whatever his name is <laughs> No, Mijima. Yeah. You know, the old one-eyed bandit is hilarious. Apparently, the yeah. Japanese love him. They love him more than old Kiryu. Yeah, no, he's a he's he's a fan favorite in the um in the franchise. He's just always lurking, <laughs> and, he, and he's in Zero as well. So those that go back and and decide to play the prequel will get some Majima action for sure. Um, has this? Are you interested now in getting zero, or are you focus yeah. on six, or are you going to try and go through all of them at some point? What's the uh, idea here? I'd love to smash out uh, them all, but yeah. I know I'm going to burn myself out. I'm sort of looking at zero now, yeah. and I know it's probably it's almost double what I've just done on this in time in terms of length. I've got six weeks until six comes out, yeah. but then you've got the God of War lurking three days after release. Yeah. Not ideal. Uh, 
So, I don't know, I'm toying with myself. I'd like to be able to... <laughs> Dirty uh, bastard. I know. <laughs> I'd like to be able to sort of drag it out. And I'd be happy to get all the PS4 ones done. I want to yeah. get Zero done next and then yeah. Six. Yeah. Um, I know they've got two remade in Japan, so I reckon we will get that. But yeah. I did a little working out the other night, didn't I? I sent you all those things, and some of them are like two to three years of what, like, before it gets localised. So yeah, if they do decide to Kiwami all of them, yeah, it'll be best part of half a decade. Before exactly. Yeah. Away. So it's it's do you dive in and enjoy six as soon as possible, or, or do you mm. take the gamble and think right that might that might arrive for us? Um, yeah. And it's, it is a gamble because we don't know if they're going to do all of them. It might be just they're doing the PS2 ones to get them up to scratch. So that's it. Yeah, yeah. It's a it's a difficult thing, and I was sort of cut and dry, thinking now I've got to play them um, because oh. I've never not played a game and gone from no uh, yeah. just an entry. And then you bush bring up Witcher. I think, oh yeah. oh yeah, I did do that, didn't I? I've been Witcher one and went in it too. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's already done door. it. So let's open the door. So, I, like I say, I think I'm going to stick to the PS4 ones and then sort of read. There seems to be quite a lot of recapping you can do online yeah. to get you up to speed. And then maybe somewhere down the future, so I don't burn myself out, I'm, I could go back to some of the older ones. But that's a big maybe. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thanks for joining us on this particular review for Yakuza Kiwami. Gets itself a buy it seal of approval and also a gold grading so fantastic game all round according to young master adkins but nothing more for us to say apart from thanks for your time and ta-da